Good morning, Bikini Bottom. Welcome to another video. Today we're doing an old classic. I feel like every YouTuber has done this. You know me, I always like to do the trend 10,000 years late. I don't know why. We're gonna do Instagram followers can try my day. So, we need to pick what to have for brekkie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little poll up on Instagram. I wanna try making the jelly, the jam donut baked oats that I've seen everywhere on Instagram. Um, so I'm choosing between those or do I just go for like either Nutella on toast or I have this, which is so freaking good. My friend got me, you know, I like the one from M&S. Well, Audi are doing a version, white chocolate flavor cookie spread, delish. So I'm gonna take a little poll. I'm gonna leave the poll up whilst I go and have a shower. Then we can go and see what the people have chosen. I definitely think the jam donut baked oats are gonna get picked. I can just feel it in my bones. So I'm just gonna... Oh, that was so cringe. Stop. Don't kick out of this video because that was so disgusting. That's actually vile. Right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this on my Instagram. Just have my shower and I put up a little outfit poll, but you guys have done 50-50 for my outfit. So I'm having to wait a little bit for it to load up. And for breakfast, cookie spread, you know what, I thought I knew you guys and this is why it's good to get to know your followers, isn't it? Banks, what outfit should I wear? Should I go for dungarees? Lick me for dungarees. Lick me for tracksuit. I can't be naked, Banks. This is what the cookie spread looks like. Look at that, delicious. Okay, right, we've got our hot water and we've got our cookie spread. That hit the spot. I guess I'll never know about the jam donuts, will I? Um, let's see what I'm wearing today because I need to get changed now. It's a bit of a joke. Let's see what's occurring. It looks like tracksuit, you're a winner. Now, to be honest, they probably did need a wash because yesterday I spilled some spaghetti down them. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? No. I asked you guys what I should do for my morning activity and I, you've come through. There are so many suggestions and I can't find the one I was looking through and then I forgot to print screen it that suggested making a baking powder rocket and I've never made one of these before. The only problem is I don't have a cork like to put in the bottle but I'm just going to be risky and try and turn that on. Yeah! Okay, we're standing up and then we can decorate it. I'm not going to do anything wild. I'm just gonna call it Grax Rocket. No, I feel like there's definitely a pun there. You know what, the name Grackle and Grack, there are lots of puns. Not puns, but like it does flow nicely. Our vinegar and we have our bicarb. Apparently, you wanna put the bicarb in a little uh, like kitchen towel. Right, I'm gonna have to buy my parents a new vinegar. Are you ready? <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> this is a disaster. Grace. Okay, after that absolute flop, I'm gonna try something else that one of you guys suggested, which was coffee drip art. So I have some leftover coffee here, and I'm just gonna drip it on my page. And what you have to do is you have to make like things out of the droplets that you see. So you have to turn that into a picture. Plop, plop, and see. Oh, I've put a bit too much. Got a bit too much, so I'm gonna let that dry. And whilst that's drying, onto the um, responses. Wow, you guys have really, really and truly come through with the responses. Someone said, do a Shrek, Shrek dance workout from YouTube. Let's do that. That sounds like a slice of me. Well. That was fun, I highly recommend that if you need a little workout. And now, someone suggests we just go for a nice a leisurely walk and listen to our favorite podcast. So that is obviously what I'm gonna do, because you know I'm a big podcast walker. Right guys, we got back from our walk um, and it's lunch time. All right, so we've got to work out what we went for lunch. I'm thinking between sushi and Nando's. Let's see what's on Deliveroo. Oh, I don't know what to go for. So many options. Right, guys, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing a picture because I feel like if I said sushi kebab, I feel like no one's going to go for it. And I really want the kebab now. Now I'm thinking about it. That is what I want. That's what my heart wants. 
Guys, why is it always so flipping close? Literally every single thing is so close. It's so tight. We're at 50-50 now. I really want the cheese to win. I'm going to leave it. 10 minutes. I'm going to put a 10 minute timer on. And then we can decide, okay? It's been 10 minutes. It's now 12.30 and I'm going to check. I really hope it's the sheesh. And I hope it's not 50-50. Right, come on. Ah! It's 50-50! I don't know if you can see this, but the sushi has just taken the biscuit. It's sushi time. Should we order it on delivery or do we go and collect it in store? Oh, I'm actually gutted. I was really, really in the mood for sheesh kebab. But hey, do you know what? I might just go there. I might just drive there. Oh yeah, and then we can also have a little plan for later where I was gonna bake a Betty Crocker. Oh, it's Guys, we've got the sush, but before we do that, seeing as how long it took for us to pick between sushi and the other thing, I'm gonna put up my story whilst we wait. Um, so I've got all the Betty Crockers, and I'm gonna do like, a pole thing, choose between carrot, chocolate fudge, lemon, chocolate swirl, that looks really good. Also, I'm just so intrigued, has it changed? Oh no, sushi is still winning, but only by 1%, so we can have this in the car, little car chats, you know I love it. We've got my favorite, this is the salmon crunch roll. It's got little crispy onions. Honestly, I think the best thing that Sainsbury's ever did was get this daily, it's called Sushi Gourmet. It's impeccable. And then I've also got some edamame beans. It's literally my favorite thing ever. And then we get the little soy. I actually am, it's a bit stressful eating the car with something like this, because I feel like I'm gonna get it everywhere. <gasps> I did, I got it everywhere. I'm just gonna have to like pour it. Mm. I don't like a lot of other sushi. I mainly just like this one. Like I don't like the ones with like slabs of salmon on. I like it like this. My cousin lives in Australia, right? And apparently sushi, acai bowls and coffee in Australia are incredible. And I just can't wait to visit her. I was gonna visit her last year, but obviously Rona. Um, and I just can't wait to like try all the things in Australia. And I love seeing everyone go about their day. Are you coming for a full on food shop? Have you forgotten you need to pick something up? Is it your, is it someone's birthday today? I just love creating scenarios for people. Maybe it's because I'm really nosy. Right, we're going for the edamame, which I love. I think I say that wrong. I just really struggle to pronounce words. Mmm, they're so yummy. Okay, I finished my lunch. It was delish. Really hit the spot. I could eat it all again. And now I'm going to see what Betty Crocker is winning. I feel like chocolate. People love a chocolate fudge from Betty Crocker. Chocolate fudge is winning by miles. They don't even have chocolate fudge cake. They either have one of these, so I feel like this one is the one we're gonna go for. Not to worry, we are home. I don't know why I said not to worry. You never have to worry, don't you worry. Um, don't worry, because when you worry, you're putting yourself through the situation twice. Or you might even be putting yourself through a situation that might not even happen. Just a little lesson. Um, I am about to make my Betty Crocker chocolate fudge cake. Right, you know how Olivia Neal made a cake for her ex? She decorated it and they're back together. I'm like, well, I can't make a cake for my ex because I've never had an ex because single life. So should I make a cake for my crush? But that's just feel dumpy at the end of the day, isn't it? So that wouldn't work. But here we have Devil's Food Cake. They've changed the packaging. Phil Dumpy, this is for you. Oh, perfect. Right, let's get this in the cake mold. I've already greased them, the worst job of all. Where's my spatula? No, where it is. One, two, three, kitchen, kill me, cause you look so fine and I don't really want to make mine. I know we ain't got much to see. I said, oh, you gonna be my girl. Be beautiful, be wonderful. Risky. Cooking with chocolate with the white tracksuit. I live on, I live on the dangerous side. They're done. Right, I'm gonna leave those suckers to cool. Okay guys, so next up on the list, we have to do a word search. I actually love doing a word search. Got this little mini puzzle mix collection. Already got one, baby, yeah. Guys, I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna do another one. Smashed it. I have really enjoyed myself doing those word searches. Highly recommend for a bit of mindfulness. Now we're gonna do some hula hooping. That actually really hurts the neck, don't do it on the neck. But I'm gonna do some hula hooping because that's what one of you guys suggested. 
I'm working through the morning activities in the afternoon because I'm actually getting a bit insecure because I'm like, I never post on my stories this much. I literally post like one, two, three max a day. And I've already done about six and I'm getting a bit insecure because I'm like, my gosh, I'm posting way too much. So I'm just doing my morning activities also in the afternoon. And I think we're going to go get a Starbucks drink. But we might actually go off of, I have so many Starbucks recommendations from you guys throughout the years. So I might just use one of those recommendations. I'm like, can I walk with it? Yeah. I want to transition it from my arm to my body. Hey there, Galala, what's it like? New York City, I'm a dog, miles away, you can go. Hey there, what's it like? New York City, I'm a thousand miles away. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I nearly just broke the light. Um, maybe I'll just do normal, normal hooping. But girl, tonight you look so pretty. It's 20 degrees Celsius. It does not feel like that. We're here at Starbucks. Yes, we are. I'm wondering if they have the colour changing cups. That would be incredible. I don't think they will, but let's see okay guys well they didn't have any of the drinks they didn't have mango they didn't have passion they didn't have loads of stuff so i just went for a a passion tango tea lemonade wait i thought i got a hibiscus tea what mm, i did manage to find these which are the color changing starbucks cups and they come with a blue lid don't worry they're not all for me i bought them for my friends because i know they'll like them you know what that hit the spot so much i don't know what it was because i don't think that that passion tango tea lemonade but i thought i was ordering something hibiscus with mango i don't know as i just got back and i just want to test out the cup you see this it's got like the white confetti apparently the color changes right we'll just leave that and i'll see if it changes color okay update the water has to be icy because as we can see now i've put ice in it and the confetti has gone from being the white that you just saw to being all colorful can you see it's quite cute actually it's quite nice but the problem is i don't actually like ice water so oh no it's really gorge so then it defeats the purpose and it's just got like white flecks. So I might have to re-gift this to someone. Okay, so now we're just gonna make ourselves. Wow! It is soft. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna make ourselves a little chalky cake. I hope that's all right with you. I'm just gonna plop it on. And I am going to decorate it with some little Maltesers. I am really going through a Malteser phase at the moment actually. Do you think I've put enough Maltesers on? I may have gone a little bit overboard. I just couldn't stop. Oh gosh, I've really gone. <laughs> I've gone a bit too wild on the Maltesers, guys. I think it's time for a bit of hot water and a slice of cake. Where do we go? I definitely overdid it with the Maltesers. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. A little bit of afternoon cake um, and after this I actually have to do a few emails and things and editing so that'll be my afternoon sorted I can't ask you guys if I would do that or not because I actually have to do them unfortunately I wonder if she hears me coming oh there she is hello I love it when she does I could just rest on the all day banks <laughs> I was just going on to get on with some work um, and someone who watches my videos found me on a dating app and this is my worst nightmare. Mm. This is exactly what, why I don't go on dating apps because it's just, that is too stressful. They already know everything about me and I don't know anything about them. No, it's too much. It's too much. I can't deal with it. Um, and everyone's like, oh, no, I can't deal with it. I am so confused by you lot. Why is it everything on 50? Literally, I just put up a post for dinner um, and it was on 50% for so long. Luckily, uh, you guys have come around and seen the light and now it's 51% in favor of the pesto pasta. I've got all the veg frying off with some garlic and basil. There's some mushrooms, broccoli, green beans, pepper. You know what, I haven't even checked that we've got pesto. I really forgot we have pesto, guys. We don't have pesto. 
We always have a pesto on hand. Oh no! <sighs> Lucky, Dad was just driving by the supermarket, so I've asked him to get some pesto pasta. Otherwise, that would have defeated the whole purpose of me asking you guys. We normally always have, always have a pesto to hand. Right guys, so Dad's gone to the supermarket and they don't even have any pesto, so he's gotten whatever sauce, I don't know, I could have made my own sauce if I'd known that. Actually, we do have pesto, I've never had this before, so this will be interesting. I have this thing at the moment where I really like doing mismatched bowls, I'm going through phase. Um, I really like all these individual bowls, I got them in TK Maxx. This one's probably my favourite. There we go, bon appetit. Here we go, delicious. Right guys, we just had Din Din's and I've put up a poll for dessert. We've gone for either these chocolate cookies or the melt in the middle chocolate pudding right here. I really want this. People have spoken and they want the melt in the middle pudding. Thank you, the first time we've not had a 50-50, so I'm very happy. I'm gonna get myself a melt in the middle pudding. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little cutaway, see if it's melty. Oh! Not Ooh. super not, melty. Yeah, it's not super melty. I mean, oh, this looks disappointing. It tastes like squidgy cake. It's not even good. I have just put a little poll up for what snacks I have tonight. I think I'm gonna have a little movie moment. Maybe movie, maybe TV. Well, I've got to ask you guys what, to, what I'm gonna go for. Um, and I've got some other Jeff Cakes, these Love Raw Kinder bars. They're a bit like vegan kinders. Pick and mix and Maltesers, so I've let you have your... Wait, I have no idea what's going to win with that. I'm assuming pick a mix. Okay guys, we are sat down, ready to recline and watch the television. Can you see that? Um, and I've just put up a little poll on my story to discuss what we should watch. Also, wow, the snack for this evening has been overwhelmed and is definitely pick a mix. I've been consuming some little pick a mix. Oh, friends. Then Modern Family, I was right. Honestly, the day they take Friends off of Netflix, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll be devastated. I'm sat there enjoying Friends. I get a message, Grace, question mark? I'm like, what? Forgot I had a youth planning meeting. So I forgot that I had to go and do that, but I still got to have my pick and mix, watch Friends, chill out, have a good time. Can you imagine Instagram followers plan my holiday? Right, these are the two we're choosing between. We've got the Nighty, the Gingham PJs. It's actually funny because I had active haters hating on my PJs. And I just think like people are literally like, why would you wear something like that? That's so ugly, blah, 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 blah. Like, honestly, I've never seen anything more ridiculous. Why would someone did wear that to bed? I'm just like, sweetie, honey, if you've got nothing better to do than hate on someone's pajama choice, I think someone needs to take a nice bath, put some bath salts, maybe grab yourself a fresh peppermint tea. And just calm down. It's really not that deep, it's just some pajamas. Right guys, the gingham has won. So that is the end of the vlog from me. I hope you enjoyed. I've had fun interacting with you all. Um, and thank you for anyone who took part over on Instagram. I love you all so much. Bye.